this point, everything is pretty much just an experiment and a joke as far as I'm concerned in life. So. And why do you need to get to that buoy? Well, that's the funny part of it. I don't really even need to get you out there. To see if you I'm push. just trying to see if I can. You know, why are you trying to walk on the mud? Because it's there. It's about Yankee ingenuity. Yeah. You see, I've been trying to figure out a way to walk on mud. Okay, now, uh, I've tried four different designs. Um, none of them work. Uh, the, the last design was to take two snowboards and attach uh, the fittings for snowboarding in a different way so that I could hopefully slide across the mud without sinking in. But gotcha. mud doesn't behave But like I snow. have discovered that the mud just makes such a wicked vacuum when, when it attaches to the bottom of any flat surface that it reaches the point you can't move them at all. Gotcha. So I had just realized I was in trouble, had managed to turn around, and as I was trying to drag my feet out of the mud on my fabulous mud walkers, uh, I lost my balance and ended up sitting there. Well, then my plight was far worse than it had been. Not only was I stuck, but I was stuck sitting in the mud and the tide was still going out. Meaning I'd have had a wait of about four hours <laughs> until enough water came in to, to lift me up. But fortunately, uh, these uh, gals living next door uh, heard my cries of distress and came over. I have a stout line that I keep in my uh, boat box down there on the dock. And one intrepid lady actually slogged out into the mud far enough so that she could toss me the line. And then with three of them pulling on it, uh, they were able to drag me up and out of the mud. <laughs> and I slogged my way then further uh, to the dock. So they're heroes.